want to talk about this. Cyberpunk 2077 increased their system requirements. CD Projekt Red has announced that the recommended and minimum system requirements for Cyberpunk 2077 will be increasing with the September arrival of its upcoming 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 <laughs> Phantom Liberty expansion, which is going to be 30 bucks. It will also be dropping support for hard drives, though players with hard drives and the previous minimum settings should still be able to play. CD Projekt said the reason for making these changes is that updating the requirements is an important part of the game improvement process and of enhancing and adding new features. So let's have a look here. Uh, oh, shoot. I only have the new minimum yeah, requirements. I don't have the, compared to the old one. That's a bummer. But anyway, here are, the, the here are the new minimum requirements. So in-game graphics low Core i7 6000 series or first-gen Ryzen. GTX 1060 or RX 580. Okay, 6 gigs VRAM, 12 gigs RAM. Uh, yeah, okay. Recommended is now 12th Gen Core. And a 7th, excuse me, sorry, Ryzen 7000? Wow. I mean, I expected the GPU, but my goodness. And uh, ray tracing. Well, yeah, okay, obviously this is good. Okay, this is just stupid. Oh, this website is horrible you do not um, need to go from a 7800x to a 7900x to enable ray tracing <laughs> anywho yeah not that's fair this is fair um original minimum was a i5 3570k or okay. an amd fx 8310 and original recommended was i7 4790 or amd ryzen 3 3200g this is a big upgrade I want to talk about this because I can't actually remember too many examples of this happening. Now, there are the obvious like... ones. World of Warcraft, for example, saw significant graphical fidelity updates. Okay. But that's a game as a service. Yeah. I can't think of any uh, buy it once game that has ever had a requirements bump. I think there's got to be a ton of game as a service examples tons of different mmos tons of different like i wouldn't be surprised if a world of uh tanks uh i wouldn't be surprised if a game like that which has been around for a long time now wouldn't be surprised if they had a bump at some point in time um but yeah. this is bizarre right yeah. like taking a game that someone bought and then going yeah we we updated it sorry not sorry um, it might not like run properly anymore. This and would bother me a lot less if you could be selective about the patch. Yeah. Oh man. Patch force patches have been driving me absolutely crazy. I swear to you, Beat Games is determined to kill the modding scene for Beat Saber. They just issue pointless patch after pointless patch that just barely affects gameplay, but breaks all all the mods and we know they don't have to because they've added content packs in the past that don't break all the mods and i know that mods aren't officially supported and blah 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 you know beat games at least isn't you know going after modders and shutting them down which i guess technically they could do but they put a ton of burden on on mod developers with their just like constant tiny change tiny change tiny change tiny. no 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 just leave it the f alone add a few content packs and do a big patch every six months or whatever that nobody is asking for what you're doing so anyway so same thing here yeah if you had the ability to just install off the discs and run the original co copy of the game then that would be a completely different situation and like I, I don't i don't i feel like i'm coming across very amped up and angry right now i'm not i'm not i'm not going to complain about upgrading the product right they, they, they they're making it like more juicier so yeah. that's cool i guess but also man it's a super weird precedent right there's a there's a bunch of people in chat giving out examples of games that have done this but it's all yeah mmos games as a service uh, someone pointed out eve online yeah that game is like ancient well, yeah that would have to be updated at some point you would like actually have to because the original minimum specs would have been like operating Pentium systems 3. that aren't secure anymore and stuff like like there yeah a lot of these subscription games definitely have had it happen but i yeah i don't know it's interesting i'm sure there are examples of games that have had this happen 
Uh, but I bet you it's been more of a understandable requirement type of thing. Like, hey, this certain operating system that was originally listed as a minimum spec is no, is now end of life. Satisfactory you know? apparently just did it recently. That's interesting. Yeah. Huh. Okay, people are talking about texture packs and stuff. I'm not talking about modding, though. Like, There's a Crisis 2 texture pack that someone brought up. I'm talking about the base game actually changing, automatically updating, and then you being forced to play it, but maybe not necessarily the, being able to play it very well The anymore. texture pack might not be a mod, but it's still an option. Um, yeah, Minecraft for sure. That lines up. I bet you that happened. Wouldn't be surprised. I could see that affecting people a lot more than something like a cyberpunk yeah. where people already were realistically buying a pretty decent computer if they wanted to run it half decently at all. Yeah, I wonder if I can find it. Minecraft. Top original. Gear 1224 asks if my Titan is fixed slash has a repaired battery. No. Oh. They apparently actually do have the replacement part now, but it has been almost two months of not having that car. That's crazy. You know what car still works? Your Acura? Yeah. Yeah, I know. That's nuts. You know what car has literally like always worked? What? The Acura? <laughs> crazy. <laughs> yeah. I, you smiled when you tried launch control. It was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's yeah. yeah. true. You know what car can launch right now? <laughs> not your Acura. <laughs> Maybe not that fast, but it could do it. <laughs> I mean, I guess. Got him. <laughs> it all depends what you consider launching. <laughs> hey, it's a comfy couch on wheels. I'm okay with it. Um, man, I can't. I'm having a hard time finding like the actual uh, original. I did eventually get a courtesy car. It took a couple of weeks, but I do have a courtesy car. And the courtesy car did not probably have whatever the desired effect was. Because Yvonne and I were considering uh, McCann for her. She's always wanted an SUV. And it's like, I got the cool new car. I was like, oh, maybe we should probably get you something. Um, other than, you know, a minivan. And um, we both absolutely hate the McCann. Just the interior is just cluttered. Um, the stupid, the visor, it doesn't come far enough and you just get sun in your eyes if it's coming in from the oh, side. Wait, so this like almost like denied them a purchase. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> we're still going to check out the all electric one when it comes. But it, this is not. This is not a good showing for it. Oof. Uh, the gearing is really funky, which obviously wouldn't affect an electric one. Like it'll it'll go from first to se it'll it'll stay in first up to like eighteen kilometers an hour, and then by the time you're going like forty two, it's in fourth. So it's like really lurchy. Um, it's it's like it's not how I would shift, and it has paddles, but. Why do I, what year is it? I, I don't, I, why do I have to use paddles? Like, give me a proper manual transmission. Sure, yeah, I'm good with that. Oops, punch my phone. Uh, I'm good with that, but I don't. I don't want to dink around with stupid paddles. Um, Original Minecraft specs, or at, at least as as close as I can get to it, which is very likely not actually original, but pretty close. Intel P4, or its AMD equivalent, two gigs of RAM. Intel. Uh, for GPU, Intel GMA 950, or AMD equivalent, and at least 90 megabytes of hard drive space. That's minimum specs. Okay, well, that's definitely not the case anymore. <laughs> yeah. Recommended specs was an Intel Pentium D or AMD Athlon 64, uh, 4 gigs of RAM, and a GeForce 6000 series or ATI Radeon 9000 series with 150 megabytes of hard drive space. Sorry, I'm just looking at the modern requirements. They're still pretty light, actually. I wouldn't uh, expect them to be too crazy, but... Core i3, 3210. Yeah, or like, this. The, man, these are these are friggin' slow, these yeah, things. Yeah, that's not great. Two gigs RAM, yeah, I mean... Intel. So wait, the RAM? The RAM requirement has never changed. Yeah. Minimum RAM requirement has always been two gigs. You need a minimum of one gigabyte of hard drive space. That's a lot more. It was originally 90 megs. Oh, okay. That's that's fair. GeForce 400 series or Radeon 7000. That's also a decent jump considering the recommended was originally a GeForce 6000 series. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a big jump. Yeah. Yeah, like a, a 40 uh, or a 460 is a lot of GPU compared to like <laughs> a 6600 <laughs> GT or something. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so there are definitely precedents for this, but uh, I, maybe part of it is that it feels like it happened really fast. 
Yes. It's, yeah. This Cyberpunk isn't like, came out like two, three years ago, right? <clears throat> yeah, it, does, it doesn't necessarily feel like... Um, like with Minecraft, it's like it kind of evolved with what is effectively a minimum spec computer. Mm -hmm. Like if, if you even had the original minimum spec of a Minecraft computer around, I'd be like very surprised if it was still working. Um, but the Cyberpunk one, like the original min spec is still a pretty decent computer. I don't know. And this is a good point. You can still play older versions of Minecraft. Yeah. With Cyberpunk, you're locked out. Mind you, it's been brought up that GOG apparently manages previous versions a little bit better. So I don't actually know for sure that you won't be able to play an older version of Cyberpunk. Maybe that's something that will require yeah, some kind of okay. investigation. If that's possible, then this is cool. 